Well, The Dark Knight is my new one. That just started today. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's the uh, senior vice president of on set social media, something like, you know. Yeah, <laughs> tweeting. Anyway, if you're out there tweeting today, remember to hit the, the hashtag. I don't know what the hell. But I, to me, it was a number sign, but apparently the kids call it a hashtag now. It's hashtag psych SDCC. So uh, there's many of us are on, are, on, are on the Twitter up here, but uh, hey, who would like to see what we've got in store for you in season seven? We've got a little teaser roll for you. We've been hard at work. We're already eight episodes in. So let's, uh, let's roll that teaser tape, shall we? What does the phrase shafts of light mean, and is there a woodland creature involved? It's a two-part question. I'll get to the next part in a moment. Shafts of light. Uh, shafts of light, I believe, is a reference to the 49 to 57 minute drive I subjected everyone to during our first episode so that we could shoot in a forest that when we scouted it looked enchanted and beautiful because of the shafts of light that were coming through the trees. I believe it's where Twilight has shot a bunch of their stuff as well. And then, uh, when we showed up to actually start shooting, uh, it was torrential rain, <laughs> overcast skies, and mud, and uh, more torrential rain, and, uh, and none of those shafts. So, so the second part of the question is, uh, you wrote the episode, you know we were going to be up there in the spring, you decided to put it outside the woods. Was it your way of saying to your fellow castmates, hey everybody, welcome to season seven, now suck it! That's exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That's, that's what we thought it was. Uh, Maggie, um, what's your favorite part of the movie? <laughs> True dog lovers understand what that's like. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Uh, Chris and Kelly, you can uh, each get your hands. Boom, from the bottom, bottom, boom, from the bottom, boom, from the bottom, bottom, boom. Johnny Lava on top, boom, from the bottom, bottom, boom. Johnny Lava on top, boom, from the bottom, bottom, boom, from the bottom, girl. G -g 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 girl. who's our boom operator who holds the mic on our, on our set. A lot of times he, he booms from the top. But every once in a while, Carmen, who's also his girlfriend, will say, no, no, Johnny, Johnny, boom from the bottom this time. Boom from the bottom. So it goes, boom from the bottom, bottom, boom from the bottom. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get ready to say, after this shot, we all out of here, we, we all out of here, what? We all out of here, say we all out of here, but before we go one time, we just have to boom from the bottom, 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 bottom. <laughs> no, we do. There's a town on the coast on the path of Father Sarah, wealthy white guys in boats called the U.S. Riviera. With a dark, dirty secret that's soon to be unfurled, it's the murder capital of the world. <laughs> A couple years ago, I did a show called Bring Your Noise, Bring the Funk on Broadway. Yeah. And this lady, I came out the theater with this sweaty towel from dancing, and she said, can I please have your towel? And I said, but ma'am, it's, it's sweaty. It's, it's a sweaty towel. She said, no, I don't care. I don't care. Can I have it? And I said, sure. Yeah. And I gave it to her. And she took off down the street screaming, ah! <laughs> I thought that was pretty strange. <laughs> Uh, hey James, this is uh, from Henry online. Eric Stoltz's best movie, go. Some kind of wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Jackal mode every oh. once in a while. Oh, uh, do you have any opportunities, like do you have any instances where you go into stealth mode? This season or just in general? In general, real life. I'm always going into stealth mode, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, I just flip, flip a little switch and there it goes, you know? <laughs> By the way, she does a spectacular jackal head movement. You see? Nicely done. 
So if I just show up behind you later on, then you realize the stealth mode happened. <laughs> And if you want to, you can possibly sing, excuse me, Roday. <laughs> I think we would make a good team on this, on duets. That's what I think. I think, I, I think we probably would beat everybody. You know, uh, I think we're, we're, we're pretty even overall. I think it's a, the cast, uh, we're all can sing very well. So I don't yeah, I would say best. Maggie might be the best singer. But he, but he is dating her too, though, so I mean, come on. I would say Tim. Tim can sing the best. I think James is the best singer. <laughs> But okay, real quick though. Excuse me, excuse me, Rodin. Please take it off. Take that jacket off. You got some knees on it. Some she's on it. You got some knees on it. Some she's on it. I would say that we all have very different musical styling. Uh, you know, so everyone is, is quite good at their own sort of thing. Uh, Corbin from Ryan. Over Lionel Richie. <laughs> Lionel Richie came to a show I was doing, and I said, Lionel, uh, Mr. Richie, Mr. Richie, Jesus' Love is one of my favorite songs of all times. Can you please sing a, you know, some of it for me? And he said, Father. And I just geeked out. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Big fan of Lionel Richie. <laughs> Kelly, who have you who have you geeked out over the, the biggest one that's been on our show? I think the question is who haven't I geeked out? Because <laughs> you, my.